Hi there, Frank here for Premium Members for the trading day of July 18, 2024, a Thursday. Hard to be smart here on the ES. This could become here on the four hour chart, of course, a failure test, but we need a few more candles to see. Otherwise, it's more like a anti, which is what we saw on the NQ, remember, yesterday? This is what an anti is on the daily time frame. And also, once we are on the NQ, look at this. So, it's always a good idea to trust BT. BT is objective. We are often sidetracked by our biases, but look at this bear flag, short signal. If you took it, you're good for one hour. Look at this, the measured move on the daily also worked nicely. And back to the ES just for one second. So what we could see, what we could be seeing here on the daily chart is an anti but I don't think it's a reliable or strong signal to risk money on. So just stand by. We had a pretty big run and we had many, many opportunities to make money in the past couple of weeks. So it's okay if we are just uh, taking a breather for a day. And uh, let's see what else. So YM and RTY, extreme runs. This is not the spot to start to participate, of course. This is a spot to trail or to have taken profits. And the RTY, just a quick look, also started to sell off a little bit, which is normal behavior, people taking profits. Okay, and on to currencies on which 6E is breaking out, as we forecasted yesterday, and you could be long on the four hour chart, which look at that 0 0.8 or so, so that looks good. And if you're in for more, then you are breaking out from the daily time frame here, the previous resistance area. Okay, let's move on to CL, which we said is expected to move to the upside. And this is what's happening. Look at this. So again, just a lesson here, simple pullback, having transitioned into a complex pullback. And as we know, complex pullbacks are often very, very good signals, very good uh, setups. So here we go, this strong green candle on the daily points towards the upside. And depending on where you want to start to participate, you can start making a plan if you're not long yet. Okay, beautiful. And the weekly, I think, as we discussed, is what's driving this move. Now, MBT, I think it's worth being long on MBT. This is a hard to, I think it's best just to look at the weekly. If we're not sure, just look at the weekly, which is a complex bull flag, that's it, end of story. If you're okay on the weekly, then you can look for an entry point on a smaller chart. So I think in this case, a four hour chart just looks fine to initiate a long unless you're long already. GC is, uh, has uh, hit the upper range of the Keltner, of the, of the range, sorry, so that's normal. And if you're in for a bigger bite, then you're long on the weekly, which is, I think, a good position to be in. And surprisingly, SI was a little weak today. We have to wait and see what this means. Probably nothing, because the weekly is what's at play again. And then treasuries, ZF and ZB, both are good to the long side. ZF, you can look at it as a breakout trade. You have the signals. And this could turn into a slide, by the way. So remember, early detection of a potential slide can bring us money. So how do you do this? Well, if you are so inclined, you can go along here and put your stop here. If it's a slide, it's not going to come back. All right. So that's how you might find yourself in a sliding situation along the Keltner, which can go on for days and days or weeks and weeks. Okay, and ZB, you could be long on the four hour, no surprises there, and or think of a long trade now on the daily. Life goes on, it's Thursday, good setups, couple of opportunities again coming our way, and the job is the same. We'll be back in the morning, and until then, mindful trading.